off. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, love is one thing and what we do is another. Because as we learn what love is, a lot of us just have the wrong information about it. We, we're not all part of the Brady Bunch. You know, some of us did not have the most positive childhood. We didn't have the most positive people, the most responsible people, or the most loving people. So when you're learning what love is from people like that, you kind of end up mistaking what love is. I'll give you an example. You know this one. Jenny from Forrest Gump. What was her childhood like? Horrible. Instead of a loving father, she had an abusive, raping father. So then what happened when she grew up? All she was attracted to, basically, all she was trying to fall in love with, basically, she thought that love was there in abusive, rapey guys. And the guy who actually loved her for real, oh, she said, oh, you don't know what love is forest that he didn't know what love was it was the other way around she was mistaken because that's what she was told that's what she was taught so how many of us learned what love really was what love it really is what it feels like it's probably some distorted version I say start learning to love yourself and it is never too late. You are always, you are meant to always start from where you are. Meaning that the point is to learn and grow and you can start that at any point in the race. You don't have to start over, you don't need a re-up, just start, start being nice to yourself because when you think about it the love that we got was for instance saying I'm sorry kid I can't stay I gotta go to work just as simple as that and oh you know we're gonna get a lot of I'm um, gonna get crucified by parents or by fathers so that they have to go to work but I mean it is what it is you're saying to the child this is more important than me, than you. I mean, it's, a, it's as simple as that. I mean, for a, for a child to hear that, that, oh, he's got more important things, what that child, what that does to that child's self-esteem, self-worth, view of himself or herself, it's gonna be diminished. And that's literally every step of the way. Your, it's always taken away, your self-value, your self-esteem. So we're chasing love, that is the wrong one, and we're chasing the wrong thing, and it gets confusing because of it. So in the end, when we end up getting that which we think is love, we end up finding out that, wait a second, I thought this was gonna make me happy. Because you were looking outside of yourself, and nobody told you that you have to look within. Because in the end, that's really what you're feeling. When you love someone, you're not feeling their love per se. You're feeling your love towards them. And you love that. And you love them because they make you feel that. It's like you have a favorite singer. And you love them not because, you know, you love them. It's because how they make you feel, how they, what they trigger in you. But essentially, you're the one feeling the feelings. So that love that you are longing for, you have it. It is there. It's, it's yours because eventually you're the one who, who brings it out and feels it. But you're thinking it's coming from that other person. And you love them for it. Well, you can. But it's you. It's your love. You're the one feeling it. You're the one loving it. And they're just triggers. You don't need anybody's love. You just need yours. No.
and get out of here. Go and love yourself. Not, not, not like that. Not, not, not like that. Nope.